This data studio template is basically a codification of this uh, blog post on Conversion XL, uh, 10 Google Analytics reports that tell you where your site is leaking money. It outlines a, a number of ways to analyze uh, Google Analytics data to basically plug holes on your site and identify you know, whether it's devices, browsers, um, channels, or pages, landing pages, um, that are causing you to uh, not have as many conversions as you otherwise would like to. So let's get up and running using this template and we'll walk through you know, a few ways it can be helpful to you. So the first thing is you'll select Use Template and you can either, um, if you have a Google Analytics uh, data source already configured, you can use it. Otherwise, you can select Create New Data Source. We'll just select All Website Data. Copy the report, and then we should be good to go. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is on this, um, let's view the report here, on this Start Here tab, um, page, you'll see a bunch of steps to go through, kind of a walkthrough of what the report does, and then these steps, you know, basically what we're going over in this tutorial. Uh, so about four steps there, and then an email to reach out with questions if you have them. Um, so on the second, this is a pretty simple report, it just has two pages. Um, the first page is basically an overall summary, and that lets you look at your site by you know, device category, browser, screen resolution, and there's a few different cuts of data um, that we'll go through here that you can look at. Um, first thing you can do is select a, um, select a site to look at. Let's look at, let's look at just like the Google, the GA test, test data set. Um, Cause everyone has access to this. And second thing is you'll want to select a date range. So here we have it automatically set up to just be the rolling previous year, uh, which is a helpful date range to look at to you know, take away any seasonality. Um, but you might want to look at you know, the last month or some more specific date range, maybe since you made, since you made a big change or something like that. Um, so for, there's a couple pieces of data studio functionality that are really useful here. Um, the first is, filtering on click. So if we have, you know, this summary by device, you know, by device category, so desktop, mobile, tablet, if we click desktop, um, it will filter every other um, chart on the page, on this page specifically, for that segment. So it will filter all of these, this page level data, and also this landing page level data is now just looking at desktop sessions. Um, and if you look at you know, the filter here, that's, it's selected. So you can select it again to remove that filter. Uh, so that's really helpful when used in combination with um, the second kind of data studio functionality this provides, which is if you filter just the desktop segment and then you use what's called drill downs in the top right here, drill down from device category to browser, um, then you're looking at just browser data for desktop. Um, and you can further filter down if you're looking at Chrome, right, which is like most of the traffic here. Just Now you're just on Chrome, you're just on desktop, and you can drill down again to look at screen resolutions for Chrome and desktop. Um, and this is really helpful because on most sites, you know, like one, one browser or another, one, um, you know, device type or another is gonna be kind of like the dominant uh, traffic driver. Um, so filtering like that and drilling down lets you get into the nitty gritty of like what what might be the actual issue here. Um, so on all of these charts, we have a few core metrics that we want to focus on. And again, these are all from you know from this blog post. And for looking at you know device and browser, we have bounce rate, goal conversion rate, and e-commerce conversion rate. Um, for this, let's see, this is an e-commerce site, but the conversion rates are very low. Um, but we have the metrics themselves, but also if you wanna just do a quick scan, these, um, these bars, plus or minus, show, you know, versus the overall average. So where, if it's coming out to the right, for bounce rate, we actually, that's bad if it's to the right, but generally for conversion rate, you know, we want it coming out to the right here. If it's a 
you know, higher performing segment. So generally for bounce rate, it's the opposite, but generally we'll want to look out, are there any that are, you know, just flagging here um, or bounce rate or any that, you know, any segments where we have spikes. So if I want to drill back up, um, and we can also always reset our filters by hitting that reset button. So now we're not filtered. So if we look at this in general, you know, we'll see desktop, um, lower bounce rate than mobile and tablet. Um, you know, that's kind of to be expected. Um, and what is to be expected for sure is that, you know, conversion rates, this is kind of interesting data set. So the goal conversion rate is much higher, uh, not much higher, but a little bit higher than the average um, on desktop, but the actual e-commerce conversion rate is much, much lower. I'm not sure if that's, that wouldn't make a ton of sense. Um, well, it might, it depends on the store. This is just test data, so we don't really have any, any context to look at. It could be that, um, you know, people on desktop are more likely to, you know, convert some type of goal, like being a lead, um, where they're reading a lot of information and on mobile, um, on mobile, they're more likely to just do a straight purchase. But I would say this differential between desktop and tablet conversion rate is very, very strange because generally um, tablet and desktop should kind of convert in the same ballpark. So that's like the type of stuff that you can look at using just these differential charts. Um, but you have the, you know, the actual values there as a helper. Um, so again, the, the really helpful thing about this report is you can filter by clicking any like kind of top level segment. And then down below you have actual page level um, and landing page level details. So for pages, you're gonna wanna look at, um, let's unfilter that specifically like the, you know, the document interactive time and see any pages where you're picking up a lot of traffic, but you, um, you the document interactive time is say over three seconds. So like this store page. Uh, would be something to look at. Um, and the other, and the last, you know, the last table at the bottom here is is looking at the same slice, but by landing page instead of page. Um, so there, your you know your bounce rate is going to be way more relevant. Um, and then looking at the second, let's see, do we have? Okay, so one thing that we added. We might remove this down the line and just add these into the, the tables. Is I wanted to showcase kind of optional metric functionality. So if you, because some sites, you know, you care about goal conversion rate, some you just care about e commerce conversion rate, or vice versa. Um, so this functionality here of selecting optional metrics allows you to control which appear on the report and deselect metrics that you maybe don't care about. And moving on to the last page, this is kind of like a channel, a channel view at the same, at the same data set. So looking at which channels and specific um, user types or pages or landing pages within those channels are driving um, higher bounce rates, higher conversion rates, higher you know e-commerce conversion rates. So it's the same data set. You know we have same same look at the data. We have these bars for looking at differentials across these different metrics, bounce rate, conversion rate, e-commerce conversion rate, um, same filter type of functionality. If you select a, um, if you select a channel, it will highlight all of the pages and landing pages for that channel. Um, this is really important because obviously behavior coming from organic search is going to be very different. Um, then paid search and the, you know, the relevant pages and their traffic amounts are going to be different. So it just lets you kind of filter out what's the highest, you know, bang for buck if you're focusing on um, conversion rate optimization. So, the, you know, the core advantage, obviously, all of these reports are in Google Analytics, right? You can, you can get, all, this is all just Google Analytics data and you can get at it. Um, but what's nice about this type of report is you can look at multiple slices um, at once. So you can do select one filter and look at all of the details on the same page without kind of toggling between a number of different reports and you know going through to opening four different Google Analytics windows and doing all the filters yourself. 
So this just is kind of a shortcut um, to drilling down and looking at, you know, kind of an opinionated way to look at CRO. So I hope this template helps. And uh, as always, yeah, feel free to drop a note to help at codingisforlosers.com with any ideas on how to improve it. Take care.